Matt, we must move on to this Sunday, Ireland Italy. Would you expect many changes, or will it will it be the same fifteen, or would you say you'll change a couple up? Well, well uh, Stewie, let's let's start by saying uh, Andy Farrell and his staff got their selections absolutely spot on for the match last week at the Velodrome. Give them a lot of credit for their for their selections. The, the most influence a coach can have on the game is the people they select to run on the field. And that whole selection was correct from the bench right through every player that came on really contributed. Now, the, I think they'll pick the same team. The, the only, uh, only question I've got that, that you might know, uh, uh, Quinny, is, is Calvin Nash fit? Because he came off with a very bad limp. It looked like uh, a dead leg. Worst. I think he was walking around yeah. afterwards, so I don't know. Um, they, they... Yeah, he, he was taped up with ice on his quad. I thought the same thing. Yeah, it was a dead leg. walking around the other, he was limping badly. So I, I think if they all recover, if Nash recovers, I, I would say it's the same selection. And I think he would be the only, the only possible change, as, uh, 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 barring injury, because um, that, that was a very good side. And the last thing... The very last thing and the only thing that will bring Ireland undone, and I don't believe it'll happen, is if they take uh, this Italian side uh, lightly. So, and I, know, I don't believe they will. They've never done it in the past. The fact you look at the World Cup, they put 80 points on Romania. That's showing great respect for your opposition by playing your best and doing your best. I don't see any reason why that would happen. But again, um, Nash, Nash was in serious pain, whether he can recover. He's got an extra couple of days because they played on Friday and it's a Sunday game. But that would be the only one that I see. And, and to, to add to that, um, I also think that the the fact that they keep combinations together. Now, does Gary Ringrose come in? Well, I think that is that is a real dilemma because I agree with Quinny. Robbie Henshaw was absolutely outstanding. Um, the, the, it's really interesting looking across the teams Specialist thirteens are, are seem to be becoming a rarer commodity in the northern hemisphere, and real quality ones. Uh, you know, I, I don't believe Gal Ficker was a specialist thirteen. I think he's a twelve that play. As like Robbie Henshaw, he's a twelve that plays very well at international level at, as a thirteen. So real top quality thirteens are rare, and and developing. Uh, I know Robbie Henshaw's played there a lot, but I, I thought that's the best game I've ever seen Robbie play in a thirteen jersey. If Ring Rose is fit, that is a question for sure. Will that also affect the 6-2? Will they go back to a 5-3 on the bench if, Hen if Ring Rose comes in and Henshaw or, or one of them, they might keep Henshaw and put Ring Rose on the bench, would that come in back to a 5-3 bench against Italy? That's a, that's a distinct possibility, a distinct possibility. You know what all those are? Really good dilemmas. Really, yeah. really good dilemmas yeah. as a coach. You know, you look at their going, "Wow, do I pick Ring Rose? Do I pick? Do I pick Henshaw? Do I go over a five, two, or six? You know, Ireland's in in good shape at the moment and coming back home. Remember, it's been a long time. Uh, I know they played a game at the Aviva as a warm up game for the World Cup, but they don't really count. So it, it's close to a year since they've had a game at home. And I, I think they'll want to put their best team out there and um, and show what they can do. Yeah, well, we'll see what team he picks. Um, there are two things, actually. Nash, what a debut he had, you know, the, the try and so assured. But also Italy, you know, we must briefly touch on them. Running in close, yes, they scored a late try, but they did look a bit better. Yeah, they're, they're, um, they know each other inside out. I think they, they had... Um... You know, a good start, a good, decent Six Nations last year. They caused teams a lot of problems. They caused Ireland some problems in Rome and, and France in that first game. So their attack is is something that you've got to be very mindful and wary of. Um, they did call, cause England problems and they had a lot of line breaks as well. And so I think, yeah, I don't think Ireland can underestimate them in any way. They won't. And that's just a given. They won't. Um, Regarding the Ireland selection, I'd probably rotate the bench and throw a lot of the bench in into the starting team and take out a core group of them. The chances are Andy Farrell would want to keep this kind of togetherness and try and build on it. Um, because if, if you make changes, then potentially guys don't have... They've won game in three or four weeks. You know, when you think there's another break after... There's a break after this game. 
then there's a game against Wales and then there's another break before the last two games so um, it's a fair you know you could have one or two games in four or five weeks for some guys so look who knows um, I thought the impact off the bench was really exceptional uh, Kelleher, Healy, Bealham brilliant in the scrum when they came in you know Keane Healy I often think about him he's 36 um, he's 126 caps now I would not be surprised if this fella is at the next World Cup because he's that really? kind of an athlete and, and, be 39 and then? freak of Probably nature in the most respectful yeah. way. He's just freakish. Um, but like, you know, brilliant impact off the bench from from those guys. James Ryan, Baird, Conan was superb. Um, good dilemmas, as Matt said, and, and um, Conor Murray and Frawley. All on. Positive night, you know, it's different if you're bringing all these guys on and you're 10 points down or you're 7 points down or whatever, but there's a possibility a couple of rotations on the bench, but um, who knows.